and lasso cows with string. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's done. Yeah, we're just dumping it in now. Should I go get more rocks? Yes, please. I wanted to get the cute kids in in the hammock. Hey guys, so this will be the second night that we've had the rock and mass heater in. <clears throat> we're not talking about it on the channel yet because we want to get a lot of really good quantitative information. So hey this. Hi, baby. So the stove now has mass in it. This is what originally Darwin had intended to be the entire mass. It wasn't going to have a bench. It was meant to just be in a tiny house and not take up a lot of space. Um, so far, the rocket mass heater says I'm either a rocket or I'm nothing. So we have to make sure that if we're going to be burning it, we just burn it full out. Um, which is the beauty of having a bench or a mass is that you can you can heat up the mass and then you can let the stove go out. And um, so we'll see if it does any better tonight. What happened was I got up because I was nervous. I always I always get up a lot when we have a new wood stove or another kind of tool that we're dependent on because we're off grid. Um, and it baked us out last night. It was so hot. And when I tried to damper it down, what ha happened was the vortex went out. And we had pop, pop, where it it coughed and there was a spark that came out of one of the ports it wouldn't have done that if I'd had the little um, what's it called the little bolts in the holes um, but I'm still learning about the stove and it only did that while I was there it was something that I did to make that happen it wasn't something that happened under under normal um, operation so that's where the bench is gonna go along there I think it would be kind of fun to turn it into like an L shape so sorry I can't see my hand so from here to here to here, I think that would be a neat bench. Me too. And I could put... Um, There's many benches that are actually a bench in a corner, and I like it when they're like that. Yeah, I think it would and be kind of fun. I could go in the L shape like that. Yeah, but it wouldn't be as easy for you to be a hammock child. One of the reasons they recommend or require double wall pipe on a wood burning stove is that as it exits the building, if it cools down really quickly, you can have a lot of creosote that builds up on your chimney, but you can even more have your smoke turn back around and come back into your house, which is what we had happen a couple nights ago. With the rocket mass heater, what happens is that most of the heat is absorbed into the core and then you have what tiny bit of ash there is settle so that you can clean it out. It's not meant to go out the chimney. You have a little bit of exhaust that goes out the chimney at about 150 degrees is is kind of the the going temperature Fahrenheit of your exhaust once it does go through the um, bench. So you don't ever have to worry about really hot air going out suddenly cooling and then back drafting back into your room. And so I'm really excited about that. This stove works really well as long as it has enough oxygen because the pipe again is is single wall. It's just it's just tin. It doesn't have that double wall to keep it insulated so that the air stays warm as it moves out. This is condensation what I collected in one day from the time it started to drip. That's how much we filled up. We've been collecting a special concoction underneath that pipe. So Darwin thinks that because it's a single wall pipe, it's just tin that what's happening is is that it's cooling too much as it comes out yeah i i believe that that well the air forcing up the insulated riser is creating a positive pressure in here hot air doesn't want to go down but it because of the positive pressure it forces it down and then by the time it gets over here because there's no insulation here none on this and it's cold outside and the mass is absorbing all the energy of the heat it doesn't get really hot the cold air outside wants to push down and the warm air up in here wants to create a positive pressure in here and it just kind of fights against each other. So this has got to be, we got to insulate this I think going up and out. We worked on the bench yesterday and the day before. 
this is what it looks like right now and this is how I'm keeping warm in the meantime um, if you watched the video yesterday um, you saw that we got it in but we are thinking we're going to reroute it out back out through the wall because we're having too hard of a time getting it to suck down into that's a pretty that's a pretty big drop down into that bench so, we're gonna so if I kept it on and functioning as it's supposed to with full air it burned and it did a good job and because we had pea gravel in here as the um, as the mass this didn't get cherry red all the excess heat that was way too hot went into the pea gravel into the mass and so the first two days that I used it we didn't have the mass in and it got cherry red when we burned it because it was super efficient but then when we put the pea gravel in here that red went away it was still really hot up here like between seven and nine hundred degrees in just here um, so super hot um, actually I think I'm not sure that we ever tested it when it was cherry hot when it was working with the pea gravel in it it would be between seven and nine hundred degrees but we never I don't think we ever actually used the heat gun on it when it was cherry red um, so what we found was that if we if if I close it down if it had a really good bed of coals in it and it had a, a one new log in it and I closed it down not all the way but leaving just a little bit of air then we would still have coals in the morning it was easy to restart um, but right now what we're working on is being able to start it quickly and um, with it attached to the bench that's just not happening so we're going to anyway more testing more testing more testing Obviously, you've got the 5 inch stove pipe inside of a 7 inch stove pipe. Which there we go, that's going to keep our pipe perfectly round. We are going to be pouring the window insert. Let's go ahead and go out there and get started on this thing. There it is, there's our window insert, filled with air cream. The reason I'm doing it with an alignment tool is because this is Julie's cleaner. She has these little finger springs that you can grab and undo. And then this alignment tool, it'll just barely stick out just a little bit. Because I'm going to cut it short. And all it'll do is align these two up. And then we'll put a nice tape and a seal around this. And that way, when she goes to clean it out once a year or whatever, she'll be able to just pull this out beyond it a half inch or so and pop it down. There's only a little small layer on the bottom. I want right. to feel the heat. But don't we want to see? We want to leave it empty for now while we're waiting to see if it's going to work, right? Yeah, yeah. But we're filling uh, this one up. Right. We're filling this one up. Yeah. But I we still it, want yeah. the lid off. Do you need a, another hand to get it over? No, the Carpenter, you remember him from last year? We were putting the rocket stove in 1.0. This is 2.0. We've had some time over the winter to play with it, 
and well I've made some significant modifications to it I added some insulation uh, with aircrete around the burn chamber made the burn chamber smaller and so we got that all those modifications done and the main element of it the main modification was my hot air vacuum that's what I call the chimney because it just sucks so hard it's a aircrete insulated chimney it pulls the coal across the bottom of the stove. It sucks so hard, which is what you want in a J, in a J stove, in a rocket stove. It needs to rocket. You don't want it to smolder. You want it to rocket because it's burning all those gases, and it means that you have no smoke coming out the chimney, and it's super efficient. Last night I went in my shop and I made a valve. I don't know if you can see, but it opens and closes, opens and closes, and this is what this is going to allow us to do is just to simply run this through the bench and we'll be able to start the stove and get it all hot and get the chimney good and warm and suck in the way it should suck and then we'll be able to open up and redirect the air to go through the mass bench. We, we, I need to put the pea gravel shroud around this. We've been, She's been running it this way for the past several days. Um, we just wanted to see how it worked. Um, and now we're going to gravel's heavy, and we didn't want to put it in and then take it right, right. right back out. Now we're going to put all the mass around it, and we're going to make it work like it should work. Okay, so there's the aircrete. That's aircrete. So that's how much insulation he has going up those that chimney. And then the whole square is filled. Yeah, and then the whole square is filled with the the aircrete too. So but that, that is how much. Yeah. And how thick is it in the in there? It's like six inches thick. In the insert? Um, no, three, three inches, inches, three and a half, however, yeah. And that, just to fill in some spot. That'll roar. Yeah, okay. right here. Did we, did we not gonna go? Oh, there we go. Whoa! Look at okay, so is it, it is it going up the chimney? Or oh yeah. Finish? Okay. Yeah, it's that's it working. It's already sucking hard. That's crazy. Just that little bit of heat. You could put a candle in here and get this fluid. That's amazing. Well, that's what I did last time. Yeah. Okay. So everything's toasty. The big difference that I'm feeling is that it's not roasting. Uh, last year, the week that we used it, we had good temperatures down here, but then it would start to get hot. Even when we had the little tiny uh, army stove in here, it would get really hot, like really hot. And then you go upstairs and it would be miserable. There'd be this line where it was bearable and then you'd cross the line on the stairs to go upstairs and you almost couldn't breathe, it was so hot. So the difference with this one is it doesn't seem to burn as hot as it did before. He made the, the firebox smaller and he insulated it. And the pea gravel inside the shroud is the same. We never did get the bench to work last year. This year it's working like a charm. And um, the pipes that are going in and out of the bench are not burn hot. The, the, the side closest to the wall where the smoke is coming out, you can put your hand on it, it's comfortable. The one going in is hot enough that if you hold your hand on it, it's gonna hurt. But it's not hot enough that if you touch it, it's gonna burn you. So I've already got a log in here that is 100% coal that's still burning away. So it's the gases in the wood that are burning right now, not the wood itself. And um, I am just enjoying the warmth. It feels probably, I would bet that it's about 74, 72, 74 degrees in here. One interesting fact is indeed, the rocket stove took off further, it took off louder and stronger when we opened up the, the pipe to go into the bench, even though the bench was cold and had cold pebbles in it. It actually, it actually performed better with the chimney than without, so go figure. So, that's as complicated as it gets. I am, my mind is blown by this. I'm so excited. It's not too heavy for my floor. The pea gravel is spread out enough over the floor that it's not hurting the floor. And we have the rocket stove on the tin and then on the bricks and it has the pea gravel in it too to warm it up. So this is warm, hot, warmish hot to the touch and that is uh, the 
the pea gravel that's inside the shroud. And this is warm, hot to the touch because it has aircrete in it. So go check out Darwin and Melanie over at the Honeydew Carpenter if you want to take part in their brilliance. Okay, so I slept really well last night, up and down with goats. Uh, last log went in at 10.30 after I had already slept for, I fell asleep at like 8.30, but I put the last, I woke up at 10.30 to check on the goats, put the last log in, and then after that I just left it. I got up about 6.30, and I waited to start the stove until 7.30. Everything is still warm. The bench, the bench is still warm, and so I'm going to get on about my day.